Okay, guys, let's have a look at Australian dollar, US dollar for the 18th of February. Now, with this market, we'll have a quick recap from last week, and then we'll move on to the trading week ahead. So, coming into the start of the week, what we can see is the market testing at this 803 to 814 level, using it as support to press up toward our 863 to 875 level. We went over how this area was a key level of resistance. Market tests, comes all the way back down and tests at 8.31 again, where it bounces back up. Coming into Wednesday, failures at this level all the way back down toward the 7.768 zone. Find support, we press all the way back up and test at our 9.34 to 9.60 level. What we were also looking for, if we started to break up above here, was that move up into that 8.94 zone. And then what you can see Thursday and Friday, what did we do? pulled back to test at the 94 to 911 zone, bounced once, even on this very strong move down, we bounced once again. Now, with this wave up on the Friday, we didn't quite reach our key levels of resistance up here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at these today um, and tidy them up a little bit into zones. But what we went over last week also was, although Australian dollar has been in a huge downtrend, huge long-term downtrend, uh, with the market, pulling back to these levels on the 8th of February, uh, there was the possibility of bulls stepping back in once again, looking at this as the start of an uptrend, this the pullback, and then this the continuation. And that's exactly what we've seen. So, coming into next week. First thing is, really, this level here remains key support at 63 to, uh, sorry, wrong one, 75 to 63, right here. Um, down below, also at this level, at 47 to 31, you can just bring it down ever so slightly to take into account that spike down at, let's have a look, around about 28, so it's around about 30 level. Both of these remain key support. I've got the MA200 just starting to press up toward these levels also, but for me, this one and this one um, are the key areas of support. If we're going to continue with this upward movement, good levels to look for potential pullbacks and then continuation. We're testing at that previous level of structure and then we're testing at the levels just down below. Really where we got our clues from the spike up on Thursday, the spike up on Friday and the spike down on Tuesday the 6th of February. So both good levels of support. If we start to break down below this level, we have 814 to 800 which is the round number. Again, it's good support. However, if we're breaking down below this one, the market is starting to give a little bit more of a sign of weakness. And then breaks down below this level. I'd be more than happy to look for the pullbacks and continuation at least down toward this spike down at 773. And then potentially much lower. If we've made this wave up now and we start coming back down and breaking below this level, it's likely we're going to see a further bearish wave on this market. Although we still have support at 7760, 7775, worthwhile looking for um, potential bullish support. Now up into this level, what it's really telling us is um, the zone isn't looking perfect. So we're going to adjust it. We're going to bring this one down to take into account. 7935 to 7957 to 60. We're just really taking it into this spike right here. This whole section here. And then we're going to use the more recent evidence. So we can see the spike up from the 16th of February. If we bring that resistance line in, we can see it's basically testing at this spike down. Um, really, it's all the way up to the 8,000, the round number 8,000, which is where we were looking for last week. We're using that round number as a bit of evidence. Um, let's have a look. It's around about 7,988. It's the level of resistance. Down below, around about 7,980. Down toward 7972. Let's take into account the spike up from Thursday. So 7968. Make it a little bit bigger for you. Right here. Um, if the market is pressing back up, certainly this level right here is strong resistance. Up above there, um, we have another level at 
It starts to get pretty choppy up here. 8,040. It's because we're basically testing at the 8,000 level, uh, which we went over last week. 8,025 right here. Again, this is a strong level of resistance. If we're pressing up again to test here or to test here, happy to look for potential weakness. This one for me, it's a good level of resistance. It's a little bit more minor um, coming into next week, but certainly this one and this one. If we start to break up above here, it's then giving us the evidence that the bulls are once again trying to continue with this upward surge. I then expect us to test at least 8,070 to um, 8,085, but potentially we'd then be going back up toward the previous highs at 8,100. So 8,085 down to 8,073 right here. Okay, so let's have a quick recap of this. So coming into next week, I know that we've made that wave up again, relatively neutral on this market until we start to see it breaking through some of the more key levels. If we're pulling back, good level of support, good level of support to look for potential bullish continuation if we're going to see it. If we start breaking down below these levels, it's then starting to give us a little bit of a bearish um, suggestion. I'd then definitely be happy to look for moves down toward this level and the MA200. If we start breaking through there, very likely we're going to see the market testing at 7775 to 7760, which would be last key support. Breaks below there, I'd be expecting the market to test at least 7,730, but likely down to 7,700. This whole section right here. Up above, we have um, quite a few levels of key resistance. We've got one right here, we've got one right here, and a very key one at 8,025 to 8,041. If we start breaking up above there, then I'm happy to look for longer term bullish positions up to at least 8,075 to 8,085, um, and really potentially we'd be coming up to test previous highs right here. Okay guys, that is everything for this week. As always, I hope that was helpful. I hope you all have a good trading week next week. I'm James Orr and thank you.